And we have now our last presenter, last speaker of the night. Yep, so let's welcome Andy, Andy from Unity. I uh, will show us how to use the OpenXR Compositor layers in Unity's Mixed Reality Template. Over to you. Oh, that's so cool. There's a little monitor in here. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for staying till the end. And uh, a big thank you to Kronos as well for putting on and hosting this event. Uh, this has been awesome. So my name is Andy BR. I'm a senior software engineer at Unity, and I'm here to get you excited about text today. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, so we have a new package on the way uh, coming out called XR Composition Layers. Uh, we're going to talk more about this at Unite next week, but uh, I'm allowed to tell you more now, so that's great. Uh, but it would be remiss if I didn't mention this. Uh, if you haven't been following the news today, uh, Unity just canceled our runtime fee. <laughs> if you don't know this guy, this is our new CEO, Matt Bromberg. Uh, we like him. He seems to be doing some good stuff. Uh, and you'll be hearing more from him at Unite next week as well. Uh, disclaimer, so I actually did very little work on XR composition layers, so please don't ask me any difficult technical questions. Uh, I'm just the best speaker that we could bring to Seattle for this. <laughs> uh, and with that, I want to, this GIF is basically my entire talk. Uh, so we have a new package called XR composition layers that enables uh, you to author composition layers in the Unity editor and modify them at runtime in your builds or whatever for the purposes of achieving sharp visual clarity primarily. Uh, so here you can see text. Uh, it looks better. <laughs> uh, it's uh, other use cases, you, you know, would be images, UI, video, pass-through, splash screens, um, as well as secure content. So uh, on the MetaQuest runtime, for instance, the application doesn't have uh, access to the pixels in the camera image, and it's just rendered directly to the composition layer. Uh, and if you are a runtime implementer, you could also do DRM or other ways of, of similar uh, implementations like that. Um, and this new package gives you, as a Unity app developer, a way to tell uh, the OpenXR runtime how you would like those things to be composited. And I'll get more into that uh, on the Unity side in my upcoming slides. Um, it's also extendable. So if, you have, if you're a runtime implementer and you have hardware acceleration that you can do on video uh, or, or texture rendering, uh, that is available to you. Uh, and you can also implement custom layer types uh, as an app developer. You don't need a runtime to do that. Uh, so real quick, what kinds of layers are there? Uh, quad, it's a flat image, uh, but you know, really great for textures, video, text. Uh, it, I, I want to make a Kindle app clone uh, maybe with this. Uh, cylinder, curved UI, we love it. Uh, Equirect for 360 videos primarily, or uh, any sort of stereo content that you have uh, in an Equirect format. Uh, cube maps for skyboxes, and uh, a projection layer. And so the way this works is everything in your Unity scene, it by default, is composited into what we call the default scene layer, which then you can put your other composition layers either behind or in front of that. Uh, but then if you want to render three, 3D geometry outside of the default scene layer, then you can put it on a different layer. It actually uses Unity's built-in layer system as well. Uh, so in this example, these 3D controllers are rendering in front of a composition layer that is itself in front of the, the rest of the scene. Uh, and MetaQuest pass-through. So, we have re-implemented uh, pass-through in Unity 6, uh, which if, if you're an AR Foundation user for MetaQuest using our Meta OpenXR package, you get composition layers for free uh, with no changes to your project. Uh, our, 
uh, our Air Foundation provider for MetaQuest will now create a composition layer for you at runtime, which uh, in this bottom left corner is our new composition layers uh, editor window. So you can see the pass-through layer is at depth minus one and your default scene layer is at zero. So your pass-through is rendering behind your scene and your scene camera needs to set its alpha channel to zero so that it can let pass through uh, render through. Um, I have other things to say about MetaQuest, which I wrote down. Um, oh, I got it all. Oh, uh, custom layer types. This is actually implemented as a custom layer type. So, if, uh, you know, pr proof of example. Um, so how do you create a composition layer? Uh, you right click, you go to create, and you go to XR, oh, that menu's really long. Uh, and, but then under composition layers, uh, there's all the, the composition layer types that I mentioned earlier, plus the meta pass-through layer, which is the custom layer provided by the meta OpenXR package. And then uh, if you have XRI in your project, you get some additional composition layer op options that have interactables already set up on them uh, so that you don't have to figure out how to raycast onto UI or touch it or whatever. Uh, when you create a composition layer, you get a game object with a composition layer component. And this is what it looks like. This is the quad. It's pretty simple. You set your texture, you set your scale, whether you want the transform scale to apply to it or not. Uh, if you disable the component, the composition layer will be removed. And if you enable the component, the composition layer will render. Uh, it's great. Uh, and this is my favorite slide. We're supporting everything. That, uh, so it's supported in Unity 2222.3 and Unity 6, built-in render pipeline and URP. And every OpenXR runtime already supports it because it's built on OpenXR. <laughs> um, and I, I don't know if this interests anyone, but I also have a live demo that I can show you after this. Uh, this is a sample scene that ships with a package that is not yet out yet. It's in pre-release, but if you're not already using it, just wait for the official 1.0 release. It's coming soon. Um, so here we have a skybox and an Equirect and a default scene layer and a video playing on a cylinder and mid-ground objects and a quad. So uh, it's uh, a super fun time. And uh, yeah, uh, that's that's my talk. <laughs> we certainly have time for one or two questions. One question here on the right. Where can I get that template? Uh, you mean this, this sample scene? Yeah. So it's in Package Manager. Uh, you install a package, then there's a tab in Package Manager called Samples, and then this will be shipped as a sample of uh, the XR Composition Layers package. Uh, there is a pre-release version of the package out now, but it does not yet include the sample. So that's coming in 1.0. Great, another question for Andy? Yes, we have one here. Uh, this is great. Uh, the starting GIF showed uh, text and you mentioned uh, it renders text and are using the, uh, I guess, text mesh pro type things, you can just render to it and uh, potentially that's the canvas that you get for like editable text and all that, or we, is this just kind of a rendering thing or an, is it fully interactable? I, so you can do uh, fully interactable text mesh pro uh, type stuff. I, I'm not sure actually, I think this is an image. Um, and and uh, so in this case, just demonstrating that the composition layer can bypass the eye projection, which I'm still kind of learning what that means, but that's uh, that's the sentence that I've been told to repeat. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it supports uh, images as well as text. Uh, anything like you can anything you can put on a canvas, you can put on a composition layer. Um, yeah. All right, thank you so much, Andy, for the nice presentation. Andy BR, everyone. Awesome.